How to play Gibraltar in Apex Legends. In Season 13, I made Gibraltar for 500 kills to better understand him. I'm about to share everything that I learned, and if any of this helps you out, make sure you drop a like. First and foremost, Gibraltar is not a tank. His arm shield and fortify does not make up for the size of his hitbox. He should always be the second or third one in, and the last teammate down. As Gibraltar, you will be focused and team fired. I really notice this anytime I played duos with a teammate that was a movement legend or a smaller hitbox like Wraith or Lifeline. Even if my teammate was closer to the enemy or even out in the open, 90% of the time, the teams would gravitate and focus me instead of the teammate since I was the easier target to hit. You should always give Gibraltar the golden backpack. As Gibraltar, you should always carry at least one single fire weapon, be it a wingman or a shotgun. As an optimal loadout, carrying a medium range weapon with a shotgun is going to be best. The best medium range options are the R301, flatline, charge rifle, or wingman. Just make sure if you pick the R301 or the flatline, you absolutely have a shotgun. If you run two automatic weapons, you're actually going to be giving the enemy an advantage if they have a shotgun when you throw your bubble, as it's extremely hard to bubble fight with automatics. When it comes to care package weapons, always make sure you give Gibraltar the G7 and or the Mastiff. The G7 being the best poking weapon and the Mastiff being one of the best weapons overall in the game, especially when combined with a good bubble fight. During this 500 kill grind, I quickly realized that Gibraltar is not a great solo legend, especially when kill grinding. If your teammate goes down far away from you or flat out leaves the game, his big hitbox makes it way too easy to take damage and give enemies an opening to push you. And it's extremely hard to win a 1v2 in a bubble fight, as all the enemies have to do is angle you out. But in that same breath, I think it's a great experience for all movement-based characters to give Gibraltar a try, especially Especially if they want to improve their ability to play cover, is Gibraltar much more easily gets punished for making bad decisions. Then when you go back to your movement character, you're going to have smart decision making. Gibraltar's arm shield only covers the upper half of his body, so always try to play head glitches to cover up his legs. However, if you are in the open, if you backpedal, his arm shield will actually turn sideways, covering up much more of his body. If you look at the bottom of the screen, you can see a health bar on the shield. Anytime that your shield is broken, this also turns into a regen timer, showing how much time until your shield comes back. You do have the option to toggle his shield on and off. The only Anytime time that I would recommend doing this is if you're ratting, due to the fact that his arm shield actually is kind of loud. So if you want to hold a corner or an angle without being detected, you can turn it off to be silent. Also, the arm shield is easy to spot at distance, so if you're just scouting out an area with a sniper, you can also turn it off. His arm shield can block any type of grenade other than a thermite. This includes arc stars. If you get arc starred, it'll actually bounce off of the shield instead of sticking to it, and you won't get the stick damage. Just make sure that you aim towards the grenade and then crouch down. Earlier, I mentioned you always want to give Gibraltar the G7. This is due to the fact that it's one of the best poking weapons in the game, and when combined with the arm shield, allows you to farm up your teammate's shields. You always want to make sure that you have at least one teammate with a long to medium range weapon to farm up shields and establish dominance on other teams. On top of that, as Gibraltar, you should always be sacrificing the best shields to your teammates and having the worst shield to yourself. As Gibraltar, you want to try to avoid engaging in fights where you don't have your arm shield. Be patient, keep an eye on that recharge timer on the back of the shield, and take that time to take different angles and reposition. On top of that, anytime you do have your arm shield, make sure that you're ADSing. You should shouldn't be hip firing if you have your arm shield available. Just make sure that you play cover if you're using an AR, as your strafe speed is going to be extremely slow, making it a very easy target. As for his tactical, you should be using Gibraltar's dome shield to rotate or throw on to teammates who are in trouble. This is another reason that he should never be the first one into a fight. It's best if he's second and behind the entry fragger just in case anything goes wrong. He can back them up and then bubble them to safety. One of the best ways to improve a Gibraltar is 1v1ing teammates inside the firing range doing bubble fights. Simply throw the bubble in the air in between you two and then engage in a bubble fight. Not only will this make you more comfortable in bubble fights, but it's also going to help your teammate understand how to counter a Gibby inside of a bubble fight. One technique that you can practice in these 1v1s and something you really want to master as a Gibby is the bubble punch. While bullets can't go through the shield, if an enemy is playing right on the shield, your punch will actually go through it. If they're trying to get into your bubble, you can actually push them out of the bubble and then peek them with your shotgun. Anytime you start an engagement with his dome shield, you create a 50-50 situation. Especially if the enemy has a shotgun or a wingman, you gain no advantage that they don't gain as well. Think of the dome as a neutral playground. Gibraltar's dome lasts for 12 seconds. Whenever you see the shield flicker like this, it means that there's about five seconds left. On top of that, if you remember his arm shield deflects arc stars. However, the bubble doesn't, they'll actually stick to it. So if you see that flicker, throw an arc star at the top of the bubble a few seconds after, and as the bubble disappears, the arc star will go off, hitting anyone that was inside of it. Anytime Anytime you're approaching the door as Gibraltar, you should throw your shield up against the side of the wall. What this does is create a safe little pocket for you to play inside of the building and a safe pocket outside if you need to retreat to heal. Also, if you throw your dome shield about five to six meters away from the door, as long as the shield lines up with the door on the opposite side, they actually won't be able to break through the door. Gibraltar's dome shield actually cancels Watson fences and protects you 
from caustic gas as long as the canister of the ultimate originated from outside of the bubble. Just remember when the bubble goes away, the Watson fences will resume. As Gibraltar, you should constantly be bubble resin. It's about 33% faster and it works inside of your bubbles as well as enemy bubbles. Just make sure when you go for a bubble res, you wait until the shield itself goes up like this and then start the res. If you try to res directly after throwing the bubble, sometimes you won't get the fast animation. If you ever find yourself in a bad situation, you can actually play your life on the bubble to stall for time until your team can catch up. On top of that, live by the rule to always let the enemy peek first. Simply play patiently on the inside or outside of the bubble, waiting for the enemy to peek. Never throw your bubble on a decline, as the bottom of the bubble will not cover you and you'll be able to get shot through it. However, if you're pushing uphill, this is perfectly fine. Just make sure that you don't have a team behind you when you do throw it. Gibraltar's dome shield takes an entire 30 seconds to regen, so as a general rule of thumb, you should be playing patiently with it. Don't use it for any and every reason. Especially in in-game, be patient and hold it until you really need it. Gibraltar's dome shield works great in combination with Valkyrie's ultimate or Wraith's portal, giving your team a safe way out anytime you need it. Just be careful with Valkyrie's ultimate, as there will be a split second where your heads will be visible on top of the bubble. Gibraltar's defense and bombardment has one of the slowest region timers in the game when it comes to ultimates, so make sure you're always giving him the golden helmet. However, keep an eye on your timer. If you already have your ultimate, you should be passing the gold helmet around to your teammates that don't have their ultimate yet. And due to this long recharge time, ultimate accelerants have some of the best value on Gibraltar, so make sure if you have inventory space, you're carrying at least one with you. When it comes to using your ultimate against another Gibraltar, see if you can crack one of them first and make them waste your dome shield, as that's one of their only ways to counter your ultimate. The instant that you see them waste their dome shield, wait until its last few seconds and then throw your ultimate on the dome shield, that way as it goes away, they start to get hit by the airstrike. There's three primary ways that you want to use Gibraltar's defensive bombardment. That is offensively, which is making openings by cracking shields and applying the slowing effect and then calling out any damage that your airstrike might do to your team. You can use it defensively to push off third parties or just ward off teams while you're trying to reset or res a teammate. Or for zoning, where you can throw it behind an enemy team to keep them from retreating. Or throwing on a team that has height to push them down. This works best if you have a teammate like Horizon or Octane to immediately take the height from the enemy team. Due to the long recharge time, just like the bubble, during end games, you want to choose precisely when you use your ultimate, as this can be one of the most oppressive abilities in the game in a smaller circle. And if Gibraltar isn't your main, make sure that you check out this playlist, as I'm currently working on making advanced guides for every character in the game. And if there's any tips that I missed, make sure you comment them down below.